Hey my friends, Benny Mac Attack. I'm back again. What's going on guys? Just doing my weekly update. Uh, saying good day. I tuned in this morning for the styrene chat. Uh, sorry guys, I couldn't join in. I was looking after my daughter all morning and as much as I wanted to, it wouldn't have been much fun with her screaming in the background so I didn't worry about it. So, but it was good to watch and see what you guys were talking about anyway. So. But, first of all, big thank you very much to QA Dano. You probably remember I did a shout out for him a few videos ago. Uh, all the way up in Alaska. Man, what a guy. Look at this. He scored a good deal off Craigslist. Craigslist. Um, sent me two models, just out of the kindness of his heart. So, big thanks mate. I uh, really appreciate it. Eh? I just couldn't believe that mate, you're a champion, so uh, sweet. Uh, first one was Revell, NASCAR kit, never done a NASCAR kit, so uh, something different for me. Uh, 88, Dale Jarrett, UPS Taurus. So that looks like a pretty cool kit, might do a review on that one later on. And next one was the 67 Plymouth GTX Hemi, also Revell. Man, so I was stoked with that. Got six bucks on the side, so <laughs> what a bargain, man! So yeah, thanks, heaps for QA Dano. You're a champion. Glad you had a good time in Hawaii. Uh, shame the weather wasn't as good for you, mate. But I see you scored some goodies, so that's good. Uh, also, managed to pick up a few more kits this week. I found a good place on eBay. Misses let me spend a few more dollars. Uh, Twenty bucks, Tamia. I thought I'd get into some Tamiya kits, they're pretty expensive here in the hobby shop, like 50, 60 bucks, so I was stoked, got a little mini for 20 bucks, pretty small but it looks pretty cool, detailed, free shipping, box got a bit knocked up, got them from Hong Kong, but everything inside still sweet, uh, I really like this one, Nissan Skyline GTR, I got that for about 30 bucks, again free shipping, all from the same place, again box got a bit knocked up, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that one. And something different. Tank. Type 61 tank. Why not? I thought I'd give it a crack. One of the boys at work is into his military stuff and he talked me into it. So I've got some pretty cool ideas for this. I don't know if the milita military guys are going to like it, but oh well. I'm just going to have some fun with it. So, But anyway, thanks again for QA Dano, mate. I can't say thanks enough for that man, I can't get over the generosity, so cheers man. Um, and I'm also going to do a quick shout out, uh, Aussie guy down in Melbourne, uh, he's Chris Pandoff, his uh, channel is excellent, X-R-L-E-N-T-12, I'll put a picture up in the name of his channel. He's been building for a while, he's got some pretty good skills, does some pretty awesome builds, I've been watching all his videos, he's been putting a lot up lately, so shout out for him, good on you Chris, keep doing your thing mate, so go over there and check him out. And also I had a question from Boxbuyer2008, he was asking me about what tape I was using to tape up the stripes on the 94 Ford, uh, I'll use the Tamiya tape, I've got 10mm and 18mm tape. And the one that I couldn't remember the brand of telling was this stuff. Found this on eBay from the UK. Uh, I hope it focuses for you. I'll put a name up somewhere. It's Tex Fine Line Tape. It's high temperature fine line masking tape. I'll do it for masking operations where a clean, sharp, fine line is required. Low tack adhesive is resistant up to 132 degrees Celsius and remove cleanly without residue transfer so I think it was like three or four pounds whatever that translates to 
So it took a little while to get it, but yeah, it's really good. Nice and thin, nice and crisp. So I hope that helps you out, box buyer, mate. Um, what else have I got? I've got a couple of websites I want to share with you guys. One mainly for QA Dano, with his, um, he's having a few dramas with the auto wear paint. I sent him a message, but I thought I'd share it with everyone else as well. I know a few more people use the auto wear and Wicked and maybe even Create Tech. So I haven't seen a lot of guys using that, but um, so and I've also got a cool website on the pledge. Um, tells you a lot about it. Pretty much the name and the bottle, what it looks like in every country around the world it's sold in. So for you guys that still can't find it, I watched a Dave Parker video the other day and someone in the UK had only just figured it out. So I found this site, so I'll quickly show you that as well. It might help you guys out. Plus it's got some pretty cool tips as well. So I'll just quickly stop the camera fellas and I'll set up on the computer. Alright guys, I'm back. So, as I mentioned first website I was going to show you was mainly to help out QA Dano, but a lot of you guys that use the Createx and Auto Air range will probably like this. Uh, it's an Australian site, it's where I order my paint from down in Melbourne. Uh, it's a pretty wicked site guys, as you can see, it's got everything from the Auto Air colours, um, airbrush kits, oh sorry, stencils, and uh, tutorials on how to thin it and do all sorts on everything and if you go over to the side you've got your auto wear colors and there's an application guide there guys you can download that as PDF and that's really handy tells you a lot about the paint a lot about its uh, you know the way it's set up to work and the best ways to apply it and then you can also go through and look at, they've got colour shift, candy pigments, highlights, hot rod sparkle, man, they've got everything. I normally like my pearls, and you can go into there. And they also have a quick YouTube video on every colour. So if you want to get a rough idea, so say you want to check out the lime green, and it even tells you what sealer they use underneath, so you know exactly what it is. So they do a quick YouTube video. So it's a pretty good guide, I find, uh, if you're trying to find a, a certain colour or, you know, basically you can look at the colours in the bottle, but a lot of time it's going to be a bit different when you spray it. So yeah, I just like to use that as a guide. And there's uh, heaps of other stuff on there, guys. So yeah, jump on and have a look at that. Airbrush Megastore. Uh, I'll put a link up down the bottom and put it up at the bottom of the screen at the moment. So, and the next one is for all the future and pledge. It's basically the complete future. It's called from a guy Swanniesmodels.com. Uh, it's really awesome, man. I found this a while ago when I was looking for the pledge in Australia. Obviously, I knew you guys use these future, and it basically goes through. A lot of good information on different countries, what the bottles look like, a few other different sort of brands you can use or the same sort of thing that do the same thing. A few tips and tricks on what you can use it for on glass. Uh, here's the Australian and the UK section. So yeah, it's a really awesome site guys. goes through a lot of detail of different countries, tips and tricks. So thought it might help you guys out so that's about it for that um, I've got a couple more days off work I'm hoping I've got everything for the street charger chassis and everything prepped ready to put together so I'm hoping to get that together and get the wheels on it look at the wheels man they can't are wicked huge uh, I've just got to paint the good year with some white. It's the first time I'll be doing that, so hopefully that comes out alright. So hopefully I'll have a rolling chassis by the next few days, guys, and I'll be able to give you a look and do a quick update before I go back to work. So that's about it today, fellas. So everyone have a good one. Have a good day, night, wherever you are from in this crazy world we live in. Uh, it's Benny Mac. I'm out of here, fellas. Have a good one. Don't have a point, 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 don't have